All right, we're back. It's the Edge on Air.com. It's the Advocates for Change. Once again, I'm Everett O'Neill, Paul Shabari, and Tim Punches in the studio. And um, we're reaching the end here. Um, you know, we, we started off very dark, but, you know, I, I think we, you know, sort of laid out a few um, a few ideas of change and proper solutions. Um, guys, you know, what do you think about uh, this program? I think it went in a positive direction, man. Um, everything starts off with brainstorming. Every single thing that has been successful, every single thing that has failed has started off with a thought and a per- person putting things into action. So um, I think that this provided a great platform for people uh, from from different perspectives and different walks of life to come together and give their ideas. Now, those people who are out there listening um, who want to be active can take those ideas, uh, provoke some thought, and start putting their own plans into action. But ultimately, it's going to all begin, like I said, I'm going to go back to something that I said, it's going to all begin with that decision that we make, um, each individual person. So uh, I think that it, it went well, to be honest. Um, I, I, I think just... Uh, kind of in charge as program director here for the edge on air.com I've, I've always felt that radio stations have a responsibility to connect with their community and also give their community a voice and i thought um you know we did we did that today um you know because it was the first time we ever did anything like this and you know hopefully it leads to kind of more of these types of programs in the future where you know based on a certain event or if something you know something is on someone's mind you know we can provide that forum for people to kind of talk about it but I thought it was neat to learn from our guests today, uh, Calvin Coleman, Naima Jackson, Kevin Ferguson. Um, you know, we learned we learned a lot of different things from them. Um, you know, it was kind of kind of what you were just saying, Tim, about how you know just kind of the brainstorm. It starts it starts with the idea, and just kind of talking about it is is a better first step than doing nothing. And and you, you look at a person like Naima Jackson, who you know she she's doing this, and it's on social media. But you know that's that's the next step for her. She needs. She need now needs someone to kind of just take action with her. So you know th- this is this is a forum where we can kind of figure out where people are, you know, in, in the middle of it too, and try and maybe help each other get to the next step. So it was good that we provided that today. Uh, one thing that I learned today that I never really kind of factored in, uh, Kevin Ferguson. You guys maybe got to help me with the quote exactly here, but he was saying something along the lines of like, you know, the, the youth isn't isn't necessarily they're not feeling like anyone's listening to them or paying attention yeah. to them. Mm-hmm. And and that's something that like, you know, maybe maybe if I would have sat down and thought about it long enough, maybe I could have came to that conclusion myself, but you don't hear about that, you don't think about that right off the bat. So I think it was kinda it was good to hear that from him and maybe kinda change the way I would I would think about something like that. Cause that's that's not something that's not a go to mindset that I would put myself in of, well, maybe maybe these youth aren't given the advantage to kind of feel loved or wanted or like they have an opinion or a voice or an opportunity and uh th- it was kind of good to hear that from kevin that you know maybe maybe that's something that i need to consider myself in the future for when i want to try and help out with this is you know like oh well you know maybe these people don't have a voice and and i can give them that voice or give them the opportunity so i felt that you know what we came here to do today was was a really great idea because it just kind of opens up the dialogue for a lot of different sort of viewpoints kind of centered center around one subject. Absolutely. And, um, you know, just to piggyback off of that, um, I think sometimes, you know, us as adults, we forget that we were once youth and that, you know, we felt we were misunderstood and that nobody will listen to us. And, you know, as we get older, you know, it's like we we're continuing, you know, that domino of, you know, not listening to the youth. And so I, I know I'll, I've learned. And, I mean, I've kind of always known, I think we've all known that, you know, we have to, you know, pay attention to the youth. And, I mean, that was one of the main questions I would ask all of our guests is that when they interact with these youth, you know, what is their mindset? You know, how are they feeling, in, you know, in, these, in this environment? And um, I believe that this show provided, you know, a lot of thought and uh, it, it, provoked, it opened a lot of eyes, you know. And I, uh, I'm very appreciative of – you guys allowing me to be the moderator for this program. Um, special thanks to Calvin Calico Coleman, poet and actor. Uh, he'll once again he's in Thirteen Men at the DuSable Museum on September thirteenth. Um, special thanks to Kevin Ferguson of the Ray Organization as well as Naima Jackson um, for calling in. Uh, this has been the Advocate of Change on the Edge on Air.com. The Noise Brigade is up next at six o'clock, so make sure you tune into them. Uh, thank you for your time, and we will see you again next month. Uh, before we go here, Everett, I want to thank you for doing this. Uh, that was a huge help. I want to thank you, Tim, for uh, for coming up with this idea to do this. Um, 
you know, I'm always looking for different types of programming on the station. I thought this was kind of neat to, you know, to provide that voice for people and do something that really connects back with the community. So I wanted to thank you guys for putting in that work to help me, you know, get this get this going on the station. And hopefully we can do something like this uh, in the not too distant future. Absolutely. No problem. All right. Well, this has been Advocates for Change. I want to thank everyone that, that listened to this. Um, like Everett said, stay tuned for the Noise Brigade. And uh, go back to our webpage, theedgeonair.com. We will have this broadcast. We'll be rebroadcasting this throughout the week. Uh, just stay tuned with our social media, Facebook, Twitter, uh, back on the website for more information how you can download this podcast, you can listen to this show again, and uh, how you can hear the rebroadcast. So thank you for joining us on Advocates for Change on theedgeonair.com. It's a simple song